class contains adult languages, adult themes, and adult situations. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh. We're live in the Routecast studios with my guest, Dan Pfeiffer. He's going to join me tonight on another excellent episode of your favorite online radio show. And you know, it's Sunday night. <clears throat> I'm running a little late. Um, my guest was a little late. I like to always blame it on my guest, but it's usually me that's running late. So uh, you got to make money, though. You got to make, got to stack the dollars a little bit. So uh, you know, the Routecast is important to me. Um, I wanted to bring him along. This is a special episode. You know, I'm almost, I've almost hit 50 episodes and that feels like a, that's going to be a milestone because I thought maybe I would do five episodes. So we are, we are slowly approaching 50 and that makes me feel awesome. So I continue to keep bringing you people that I think are interesting and that interest me and I want to talk with and I hope you enjoy our conversation as much as I know I'm going to. And we're cracking a few beers, uh, smoking a little little something, and uh, chilling out in the studio in Toledo, Ohio. So, Dan, welcome to the Routecast. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem, man. Thank you so much for uh, for being here, dude. Yeah. I, I, I really appreciate you finally coming. I mean, we've talked about this for like six or seven months. This has been a long time coming. Yeah. <clears throat> it has, and I, I, uh, I can't thank you enough for, for being one of my guests. Um, I like to, I'll add you to the the cast of characters that I've, I've had with me. So. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, so I have to say that, to, Dan, you're kind of like a legend to me. Um, <laughs> a legend? Yeah, you're, 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 uh, you, you belong to this little fucking great little super group that I like to call Sajin. <laughs> it was back, pretty, yeah, <laughs> we were a super group. Back, we? back in the day, you guys were... <laughs> You guys are phenomenal. I mean, I used we to. Okay. I used to listen to the shit. I, I remember putting the CD on when I'd go to bed at night. Right. I'd lay down and I'd put your guys' CD on <laughs> and I would jam that shit. I jammed it in my car. I jammed it everywhere I went. I, and uh, I remember when you guys put the put a concert on in the gymnasium, man. Yeah. I, you guys rocked. Right. I, whatever. Whatever happened to Sajin? Oh man, uh, we just kind of grew up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing it. I, I'm not actually not even really playing too much music. These really. Days. Um. My drum kit is actually at my friend's house right now just because he wanted to try out maybe he was talking about maybe buying a drum set and so he wanted to just try them out for a little bit and I wasn't really playing them and my basement floods a lot. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I was just want, like, hey, if you, you have a safe lose. place to keep them, you're more than welcome to take them and set them up and play around with and them. And that's what you played was drums, That's what right? I was playing in the in the band, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've been playing a little bass and stuff. But I, I guess as a group, we just kind of, uh, our bass player... 
he went off to graduate school, and now I've heard that he's some big hotshot anthropologist. Or oh, something really? Like that. So he don't play anymore. Yeah, he, he really like writes huh? books, and he's so, much far too busy to do so that. So everybody and, went on to right. do other things. Exactly. Well. And uh, my brother, he he still plays some music around, uh, mostly like wineries and stuff like that around. So the little small gigs, stuff, but yeah. And I've I've sat in with him a couple times, but just as a group, you know, it's it's hard to keep a oh, band I'm sure, going I'm sure. It takes a lot of time. You guys had it was like you guys had you guys had passion though. You guys, <laughs> you know, you guys enjoyed doing it we did love it you know i don't we didn't really play out too much uh regrettably but at the same time you know we were just kind of doing it for fun you know we weren't really trying to make it big and i mean we kind of talked about it and you guys had you you guys had some kick-ass songs you guys you guys did you guys you guys did you guys rocked man yeah you were always one of our earlier uh supporters that kind of wasn't part of our click more or less yeah. you know we we've, we were really appreciative of all your your support that you gave us well, over the years dude, just because you know you you just liked it because of the music exactly. not necessarily just because it's like and that's and that's that's the, one of the biggest reasons i wanted to have you on man is because i know that you're big into music i yeah. know music has influenced you a lot absolutely um and and what you do uh what you know what are, are some of your like influences as far as like you know rock and and, and music like you know what uh, I mean, like, back in those days when we were in the, the band and stuff, we used to listen to a lot of classic rock, like Beatles and Led oh, Zeppelin, yeah. and, you know, that still is, is very much part of what I listen to. Um, I don't branch out a whole lot these no. days, um, but I, I do listen to a, a lot of, um, like, the Avett Brothers folky kind of stuff yeah. these days, yeah. um, so, I mean, that's kind of what... what gets me jazzed up these days I yeah, guess, yeah. But i still kind of keep my classical roots as much as possible just, i'm the same way stuff. i'm the same way you can't i was just i don't know when i was driving home they were playing the best of matt pinfield i don't know if you remember him it's like he's still around <laughs> yeah, i'm like wow. dude like i remember when he was on what was that show that they had was it uh fat farm or some tv or somebody that played a bunch of music yeah. or something i think he was on mtv i mean the dude's been around forever right but he was on the radio and he had the show and um he was playing the best of like 1967, and it's just like, I mean, yeah, that's the greatest songs, but it's all classic rock. And it's like, whatever happened to right. that kind of music? Yeah, like, we, you could never. You put a show on now, and like you know, you say 40 years down the line or 30 years down the line, and you're gonna play the best song from 2015. And it's not gonna sound anything like that. Right. Like, I just feel. I mean, maybe it's that I've gotten older or something, <laughs> right. and, and I you and, always get a little jaded. You know, with the music. It, exactly. But I um. I I'm the same way. I have I have classic roots, and that's not going to ever change. Like that's the the best of the best to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to ask you: Do you believe in the Illuminati? Do I believe in the yeah. Illuminati? Uh, yeah. Not necessarily. Um, I don't think anyone could really be organized <laughs> enough, you know, yeah. necessarily to to do. I mean, I'm sure people would argue with me that yeah, it's it, it is very real or whatever. But I think there is an inherent corruption to yeah. our kind of power system i guess in this but country like, in there's like there's a, a elitist uh, like i kind of yeah. control a lot of the money flow banks and it, stuff like that yeah, yeah. it's, I believe it's not that like there's an evil plot necessarily i think it, it's very indifferent because i think money itself is very indifferent it's just kind of units of indifference more yeah. or less you know like yeah. so i mean it, it comes across like that but i don't think there's really an organized evil plot to, I, that I, kind you of know, controls I, I, all the strings i agree with you i agree with you and so this is what i wanted to pick your brain on i got something i want to show you I, yeah I got, oh yeah um this is the weirdest rap video. I don't, have you ever seen this video before? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, this is the weirdest rap video you're ever going to see. This is Jay-Z, and I believe that he released this when, I think it was 2010. Okay. Where right before, the, the, uh, when the ball dropped, going into 2011, he released this. On to the next one. And right. it's, like I said, it's just the most, for somebody that comes from the Bronx of New York, it's just, it, it, it has many signs of like the occult and like devil worshiping and, and stuff. And I'm just going to play some of it for you. Sure. You, you can just see how bizarre and weird it is. <laughs> and it's like, and I feel the same way. I, I, that it's, you know, we'll, we'll let some of it play. But, like, a lot of black and white, you know. I mean, and this is a rap song, you know. Mm-hmm. He's got the halo over his head. And I'll, I'll post this video when we're done, just to show how bizarre it is. I'm sure you can hear the music at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they can hear. It. 
Came in the range, hopped out the next Every year since, I've been on that next shit. Traded in a It's like chicks with ninja swords and like <laughs> three. I guess for some, supposedly three is like a big a number to the occult. Okay, and like, I was kind of wondering like yeah, they have three everywhere. But it is also the blueprint three, so it's like. You know, is it just reading into it too far? But possibly, I do think a lot of artists do kind of capitalize on See, that because they know they're going to get that's the reaction. What I'm gonna, that's what I was too. getting into. Is is it just? Is he just doing it because it's for show? Is right. it just because he knows that people talk and say, <laughs> you know? But because you know, there's been great, you know, kind of like the Beatles. When they, they said the Beatles sure. were double worshippers and that Paul was dead when they they had him on Abbey Road wearing white. And, yeah. You know, it's like they, they capitalized on some of that stuff. It's For sure. Once the kind of thought has been introduced and they kind of adopt these symbols and stuff, it's kind of, I don't know, I, I could just see if I were an artist, I would kind of want to capitalize on some of that. I, I agree. People I agree recognize it as that and it's, you know, it's going to cause a controversy and get yep. people listening yep. to you. The same thing with, you know, and the Kanye West does the same kind of stuff. You right. Know, it's like, and he, you know he's the king of controversy. He wants people <laughs> to talk. That's all he did. He's made a career out of it practically, you know. Yeah, he, he really has. <laughs> they have I want to see if I can find this part where it does it right there what is it okay that's the man they put they put that you know and that's that's as, as Satan worshipping as you can get <laughs> right. and he has some flashes of this and it's like but, but I I mean we've seen enough of it. Yeah. We, we've, we've seen enough um I agree with you though. That's I think it's the same thing. I think it's that they they their people start talking yeah. and they're like, oh okay, well, because like, because you know when they're making a video, every frame of that video is is choreographed and you know they're storyboarded before they ever put it together. Absolutely. So you there's know, no it's mistake. Not like, no, it's not no, like no, not somebody slid that in or mistake. something. <laughs> yeah, and that, and that's what, how I feel too. It's just. I mean, and there's been plenty of, of groups that have been mysterious, like Led Zeppelin, and yeah. you know they're, what there's also signs and stuff like that, and nobody knew what they meant, and Kiss, how they were the, you know, it's it's not something new at all, and it's just I, I truly believe that it is. It's the artist um, taking something and running with it to get more publicity, get people to talk about it more, to make them bigger. And if you look Absolutely. at this from from when this came out to Jay Z now, he definitely is way bigger than he was then. Totally. Um, it's it's pretty pretty amazing in part um, because of his efforts to kind of rope in some of those yep. Illuminati people yep. even conspiracy if people oh my god well they're still listening to the music yeah. he's still getting the hits on YouTube exactly. they're still listening you know they still and they might not have listened to him otherwise unless somebody said like hey there's all this yeah, weird ch- shit check this, this video. devil worshiping stuff out in this thing that's the beauty I, I agree with you I just I think it's funny because like people do make a big deal out of it my friend. Uh, is uh, I don't know if you've seen the um, show Mr. Pickles on uh, Adult Swim, Cartoon Network. Mm-mm. It's really funny. You said Mr. Pickles. It's called Mr. Pickles. Um, it's uh, here's a shameless plug for him. Um, go ahead, as go if ahead. he needs it, but uh, it's his though. He made this. He uh, he he's a uh, I think a dialogue mixer or something like that. He did, he's in kind of the production stage of gotcha. stuff, but he he works on it. Um, but it's this show they put together and, uh, Adult Swim ended up picking it up and stuff. And it's about this dog that is satanic and, like, just does all these terrible things. And the only person <laughs> that ever, like, witnesses him doing these terrible things, like, having rituals and, like, sacrificing people and stuff like that, is this grandfather who, who, uh, tries to convince everybody that this dog is evil and nobody believes him and stuff. But it's so funny. But, uh, a lot of the kind of religious fanatics I guess you could say have kind of jumped on board and they're like oh Cartoon Network isn't even trying to hide their satanic ways anymore yeah. you know with this show it's just all blatant and in your face and they, just... they think it's the work of the devil but like this is a guy that I know personally yeah and you know what, he, what, what, what show, he's doing you know? to come up with that yeah and I know his sense of humor and stuff yeah. so I mean I totally I, I can see it from both sides I can yeah. see the kind of more paranoid minded people interpreting it that way and stuff but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's really out there exactly you know? <laughs> I, I agree I agree with you 100% um, looks like oh, somebody said "fuck the police," man. Why you gotta say "fuck the police"? That's not right, man. That's a, that's, that's not right. That's a bold statement. We'll, we'll put yeah, it there. yeah. Come on, man. Not all police are bad. Fuck the corrupt I truly, police. I truly believe not all police are bad. Right. Um. You know, there's yeah, exactly. There's corrupt in any in any walks of life, any work. 
there is corrupt people. Oh, yeah. You know, there's people that are trying to make more money. There's people that want to get more famous. There's people that want to rub your nose in the dirt. It don't matter what you're doing. There's people that um, that just want to abuse the system and, and use it to, to benefit them. Yeah. And, um, you I know, saw bongs and I come across that. Exactly. From people in my industry. So <laughs> exactly. If, you, if it's even in the bong industry, I feel like it could happen anywhere. If even happen, all cops are corrupt. I don't know, I don't know that, about man. that, man. I don't know. You know, and, and one thing that I have to say, um, we're going to take a look at something that, um, you know, with the, I don't know how you feel about the, the Michael Brown thing, like the, all that stuff that happened with, you know, in Ferguson and it's they a rioted problem, for and, sure. Oh, definitely. But, you know, and I was, I, I, I mean, I've said, this, I've talked about this on the podcast multiple times when it happened, when I was covering the riots, you know, talking about the riots a lot and, and all the shit and, you know, nights of doing that. Um, but I, I. It, it's weird because, you know, I said, I, I talked a lot of stuff about these, these things, these killings where these black people were, were murdered. And I mean, a lot of times I think they were murdered in some of these instances, not all of them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as far as, as Ferguson, you know, I, I kind of teetered back and forth on maybe, you know, somebody, um, as far as the prosecution, they, you know, covered some things up and maybe didn't look at things the way they should have looked at them. Yeah. But, uh. You know, from the evidence that was shown, he was attacking the officer. He was going for the officer's gun. He had just robbed a store. A lot of evidence adds up, you know, as far as uh, forensics. Well, this um, video came out. Um, This video came out. Let's see if we can take a look at it. A couple days ago, and it's from, supposedly... You know, it's from Michael Brown's cell phone. Oh, I think I did see this. Like, uh... Yeah. Didn't he, like, punch somebody in the face? Yeah, he just... Yeah, this. And they're just showing... Oh, watch this. And this is up on the Roudcast page. Uh, yeah, so he's wearing the white? Yeah. Okay. Just walks up on this... And this is an older guy. This is, you know, this isn't just another kid. This is an older guy walking in this neighborhood. And he just cold cocks him, acting like he's cool with him. Cold cocks him side of head, stomps him out, steals his shit. I mean, I mean, he really just looks like a fucking punk. I mean, just the scum of society. He does, you know. But the question then just becomes with his whole case: is is looking like a punk a crime? You know. True. I don't think so. It shouldn't be. I think there's a lot of paranoia in our society, and yeah. the cops are very much subject to that. And they can be a little trigger happy for sure. Oh, um, definitely. And absolutely, it seems like I haven't seen the statistics, so I won't say with authority that absolutely it does happen more to African Americans than it does to white people. Oh, but you, there seems to be that bias. Yeah, there, you, you can't. Know? You can't. Yeah, it's hard to deny that that, yeah. that African Americans face a different reality than the rest of us. I mean, absolutely. that's we see we see that time and time again. Um, so it's a problem. It's something that that needs to be addressed. I, I guess from. Absolutely, within the the police departments and stuff, but also I think it's a society problem. It oh, really is. Oh, I just, do. We're a very paranoid people. Yep. And you know, I we, also think that um, I mean, this is something that I've kind of started thinking about lately. Is you know, our system, our system is is kind of broken, mm-hmm. especially in like societies like that, where um, you know, a black community or something where they can't like they're they're. The, I mean, they, they, they would say, fuck the system or whatever, you sure. know. But, it I mean, it really is a system. They're they're frisked all the time for no reason. If they got drugs, they go to jail. Yeah. They go to jail. You know, they get out. They get busted again. They lose their license. They can't drive. They can't get jobs. They can't. They end up in prison. Yeah. End up in prison. It just, it's a, it's a complete cycle. And then their, their children that they're going to have, because they're going to have a bunch of children. Sure. They do the same thing. And it just continues and continues and continues. It's like, if we don't change anything, the same thing is going to continue to happen. Yeah. You absolutely. Know, it's, and our, we don't, me and you, we didn't grow up having to worry about something like that. You know, right. we, we were, they say white privilege, but I mean, we, we were more privileged than, than, uh, other people, I guess we could say. Yeah. Um, but what do you think about like uh, the the militarization of police? Uh, do you think that the there maybe it's it's a little too much sometimes? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, no yeah. question. Um, yeah. Man, I, just the whole Patriot Act, I think, needs to yeah. 
at least have another look at it, you know, decide yeah. if we really want to to keep do- going down this road, you know, like it keeps getting picked up and I, I guess they replaced it with the Freedom Act or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they just changed the name, change the name, add some more laws to right. it, and yeah. take away some more freedoms and... That's got to that's gotta come from us, you know, like, we have to step up and, and take that, like, just I, I say, agree. we're not going to do this yep. anymore. We're not, we're not going to follow it. We're not yeah. going to, I agree. And that's, that's why I love this podcast, mm-hmm. because it's like, I feel probably not really, like, if I said something too bad, I'd probably have somebody <laughs> knocking on my door or sure, something, yeah. but I feel like I have the freedom to say what I want, and it's like... You know, I pay my whatever my whatever fee it is to have my podcast is like fifteen dollars a month or whatever to have my. It's like I pay that to be able to speak and go live whenever I want and say what I want to the world and, and maybe they're gonna listen. Um, Seems like you have quite a few listeners. I don't know if, how many videos yeah. we got listening live. Does it um, say? No, I can't really look at that until afterwards. Oh, uh, okay. I see one. I see one of my other guests, Matt is Strauss. You know, Matt, you can always. Um, you could Skype Skype in. I don't know if you have access to it, but the Skype is open. That the Roundcast is the name on Skype, so you're, you're definitely welcome. Anybody can call in. Um, I know you. I know you don't like cops. And, and Matt actually was my last uh, last guy that I just had on, and uh, he's an up and coming uh, stand up comedian. Oh, great! Um, working his way up around here. He's been at. Um, the Funny Bone. Okay. And uh, he's been going over to uh, open mics and stuff at the office. He's a funny ass guy. I'll go check him out. I like yeah. to free yeah, like he's the a comedy club. So, so do I, so. man. I love. I, love, uh, I got free tickets for, to the. Uh, what's it called? Um, the one over on Secor. I can't remember even what it's oh, called. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes I've never been over there. Is that a good like, one? It's, yeah, it's, really? it's pretty cool. I saw um, Michael Winslow over there. Really? The, the guy that does all the weird sound effects in mm-hmm. the. Um, uh, police Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I've seen a couple pretty good shows over there. And, uh, yeah, sometimes they stop in and they're like, hey, we got these tickets. Do you want them? And we're like, yeah. Was like, see a yeah. comedy show for free? Hell yeah. You always have to pay. Like, there's a couple. You have to get, like, two or three items, I think. Like, beers or whatever, you know. Oh, just to use those, like, a comp ticket or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. So what? So that's worth like, it to it see totally a free, is, a free yeah. show? Yeah, man. That's, I mean, yeah, I love, and especially, like, you know, I've always had, uh, like, a love for, for stand-up. And comedy as a whole, but stand up, and but just recently I've like, I've started to look at it differently, and um, you know realize that it's more of an art. Yeah. And like there's you know, um, that's not, a lot of these guys you know that's not how they really act. That's that's their act. That's yeah. their bit. That's their gig. Is is you know it's not. It takes a special kind of person. Definitely. I, can, I definitely. salute anyone who can do it because I could never stand up on stage. Me too. And, and because it's be subject to that. No, but. especially some of these clubs that like you know I, the the uh, what do they call it the um, the comedy store out in LA and stuff is like, you know, they almost have comedy 24 yeah. hours a day and it's like, you know, people are hackling all the time Yeah, and you know what you're going to get. I am like, not man enough for that. Yeah, me, but... neither. me neither. So I, I respect, I respect anybody that goes on and I respect Matt. Um, but he, he got in some, some trouble with the police and I, I won't go into it too much. I'm sure I'll have Matt back and he can, he can explain some of the fun, fun stories that he has about that. But, um, you know, the bringing me to the next thing is talking about comedy. It's like this thing with like everybody the politically correct. Yeah, the, Bill Maher. It's yeah, and and just and just how politically correct like everything's getting though. You know, like I mean, it's getting to the point where comics can't make a joke, and it's like they come down. Oh well, you're racist, or you said this, or it's it's like. You, you're you're dull, you're dumbing down society, or you're you're like trying to put like uh, pads or like Nerf yeah. on everything, and it's like you don't can't. Hurt yourself. Yeah, it's like you can't. You, yeah. you can't do that. And like this thing with this this chick, I don't know if you've seen it. The one that was she identifies as black, but she's white. Oh, yeah, she told everybody NAACP yeah. chapter, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's like what the fuck, man. It's and then they're like people are like you can't you can't you can't <laughs> shame her, and it's like she's not black. It's like I'm not <laughs> gonna. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, I can. I'm like. <laughs> She's not. She wears spray tan and fucking like put put jerry curls in her hair. <laughs> you see like the the interview with her parents. And yeah, stuff. And they're like she's not black. She's born white. <laughs> oh, white girl from California. For sure. It's like I I just how this did is, she pull that off? I don't know. I don't know. Pulling I don't the wool over that many no, people's eyes. I know, man. Jeez. It's just it's amazing. And it's like I mean I just and like with the Caitlyn Jenner thing. I mean, what do you what do you think about all this? Like, I mean. 
Um, I don't have much of an opinion, because uh, mm-hmm. a lot of people are very, very passionate about it, and yeah. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, um, you should but I, I don't really have a, a dog in that fight, necessarily. Yeah. Like, I think it's great that um, she got recognition at the, yeah. the ESPYs or whatever, yeah. and, like, a lot of people are mad because, like... You know, that's not courage, but the American soldiers, that's courage, you know. But, but the SP award, it's, it's SP awards, out of context, you Yeah, know? SP like, awards really has nothing to do with soldiers. Yeah, uh, it really doesn't. I, so I, I agree with that. not a fair comparison I, I agree. Um, I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook about that, and I'm just thinking, like, that's not even... Yeah. And you're I, comparing and I agree two completely different situations. Anybody, people who should be able to be whoever they want to be. Yeah. I think with gay marriage, if you... We should... Why do we care? Yeah. And we're going to look back at... We'll, we'll look back at it someday... You know, I was just having this talk with this guy the other day, and he was old. He was probably 70 years old, and, you know, I met him through work, and um, <clears throat> he was just sitting there, and he was just telling me he just can't believe what what's transpired since he's been alive <laughs> and how the world's going to end, and, and it's all over, and it's it's just like, man. Yeah. It's like, I mean. That's a miserable existence. Exactly. Like, if like, you really we, think that way, that's yeah, awful. Yeah, you know, like, I feel just, bad for you. You know, he kept using the N-word, you know, yeah. this, and I'm like, dude, like, I just... <laughs> you don't understand. You don't get it. You right. don't get it. Like that's why you're of the past generation. That's why you you're just you know, like we. That's what how I think is is we. You have to evolve. Like our society is evolving totally. Like when we're yeah, pretty everything soon, everything always changes. Yeah, yeah, and we're not gonna be we're we're not gonna be the same people and the same beings that we were twenty years ago. Yeah. You know, we're, with technology, the way that it, I mean, with Periscope now. I mean, have you seen Periscope? You mess with Periscope at all? No. Oh, what really? So Periscope is this Periscope's this app you download on your phone. Yeah. And what it is is you can do live video at any time. And it's hooked up to your Twitter. So when you if someone's following you, it tweets to them that you're going live. Okay. So comedians, especially for comedians use it a lot. Right. Um uh air actors, you know, all kinds of people. And it shows where you're at, pinpoints where you're at, which can kind of get a little creepy. Yeah. Because I mean, you have these like young girls and stuff doing it. It's like it's not safe. Yeah. You know? It makes it makes me worry. Oh, good. This but, young girl is, is exactly at this. Yeah, place yeah. It's exactly pinpoints right exactly now. your address and stuff. Like if you want to find somebody, it's just <laughs> kind of creepy. But it's it's cool that you live video at any time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's the wave. It's like that's the next thing, and every, it's starting to get really big. It's starting to pick up. Like I said. A lot of these actors and comedians are jumping on it, and like before they do a show, they periscope. Yeah, and they come on, hey, hey blah, 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 I'm getting pumped up for my show, smoking a joint. Okay, <laughs> there's like guys, there's there's a, I don't know, you know who Joey Diaz is? You ever follow him? Uh, the name sounds familiar. Who? What's he from? He's a comedian. He's okay. a stand up. He, he's he's gotten a lot bigger in the last couple years. He's yeah. Joe Rogan and and that crew, or Brian Redman and stuff. But he does every morning. He wakes up at uh, nine a.m. and he does the morning joint. And he fires up a joint and he talks, he gives you like a philosophy on life That's and like, cool. and like starting the day and he's like, powder your nut sack, tie your shoes, <laughs> shine your shoes, take, take the day on. And it's just like, man, it's crazy. You know, it's <laughs> just, but it's, it's awesome. I had not heard of that. I'll have to look into that a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not for the creepy young girls. No, 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 no not, not, not to check out the, yeah. All right. Jared, Jared from Subway. <laughs> right. Fucking. What's to, going on with him? To, I, I haven't really heard. They haven't, they haven't, I haven't really heard anything either. It was just a, the FBI searched here, his home and <laughs> took a bunch of his hard drives and stuff, which usually that's never a good sign. Yeah. No, that's really. Usually, you know, that's never good. They news. said, they say that his, um, one of his, I don't know if his publicist or manager or something, like a couple months ago, got busted for child pornography. He was part okay. of a child pornography ring, and they they raided him. He's going to prison. Okay, and <clears throat> they Jared, think they the... think yeah they think maybe he had some ties to it or something, or he okay. knew about it. But there, none of that's been proven yet. But they did raid the FBI raided his home, took his stuff, and like I said, usually that's not a good sign. Yeah. They're probably looking for something, but you can't. You can't uh, call somebody guilty until they, you know. They, yeah, they, 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 I'm sure it's just by association. Oh, definitely. Like, you know, we have to do this. Yeah. Regardless yep. of whether you're doing <clears> you exchange or... emails or something with them, and and we gotta take a look at that. Right. Well, I um, wish you luck, Jared. That's that's mm-hmm. a tough break, and I hope everything is. <laughs> hope you can <laughs> still sell out. subs. Yeah. We need we need more Subway. We need more Subway diet. Yeah. Diet. I don't, I don't think. Switching your diet and walking is going to get you out of prison. Uh, I, I agree with so you. So I'm, I'm hoping he's. I'm, I'm rooting for Jared in that. Yeah, you know he, he seemed like he's a weird looking dude, but he always seemed like a he always seemed like an okay guy. Yeah, for check, sure. check that. I have out. nothing against Jared. Check that out. What is this? <clears throat> this is uh, Michael Bisman. <laughs> he fought last night in the UFC. It was actually in Glasgow, um, Scotland. And uh, after the fight, his toe man, his, the bottom of his toe got ripped off. That's dude. 
brutal, man. Ooh, I don't yeah. even, his toes already look gross, dude. He's like, <laughs> you need to you need to clean your toes, but the side head, your whole that doesn't help. Does your it? whole big toes hanging off. Yeah. Man. And I'll, I'll put that picture up, too. That's something you want to see. I think I might already put it up there. Yeah, you definitely want to see that. Yeah, that's uh, disgusting. Um, <clears throat> you know, something... Um, well, getting getting to what we were talking about, like being politically correct and, and the way that society's going and um, that kind of stuff. Like, <clears throat> as far as, like, politics... You know, they say you're never supposed to talk talk religion and politics, but yeah. on the roundcast we talk religion and politics. <laughs> that's exactly so where we're going. That's, that's, that's exactly where we're going. <laughs> um, but who, like, as far as the candidates right now, is I mean, is there anybody you pay attention at all? I, I there, have been paying yeah, attention. It's that, kind of a guilty pleasure just because yeah, I yeah. know it's it's way it's too train early. Wreck. It's a train wreck. It's a way too early to even be thinking about this, but yep. it's it's there, so I'm gonna who look you, at it. Who do you who uh, do you who do you like? I I like Bernie Sanders a mm. lot right now. Um, Easily the best Democrat. But yeah, yeah, there's not very many of no, those right no, now. No, no it's, um, it's really Jesus Christ. You just hear the people Republican clusterfuck. Just yeah, I don't even yeah, know. I don't think, dude. Yeah, if I had to like, pick a Republican, it'd probably be Rand Paul. But yeah, uh, some things that Rand that, Paul even says though. It's just I know. Like, uh, I would. I would definitely vote for Bernie Sanders over Rand Paul. Yeah, I. I agree with that. Um, I'm done with the Bushes. I'm done with the Clintons. Me too. I'm, I'm me not too, man. And it's like it's like it. What is the what is the definition of insanity? You continue to do this, or you, you, what is it? You continue to do the same thing, but expect a different result. Yeah. Well, if you keep putting the same people in power, I know. what do you, you keep expecting a different result? No, I was just thinking we're not about digging this. out of the hole. Yeah. We're staying in that hole. I was just thinking about this the other day, like that, um, I don't know, you, you were born in like 86 or so? 87, yep. 87, okay. Well, I was born in 86, um, so I'm 28 years old, if for anyone who doesn't want to just do the math. Um, and if you think about it, let's see, there was eight years of Bush, eight yep. years of Clinton, so that's 16 years doing my own yeah. quick math in my head, and then another four years from a Bush, so that's, uh, 16 plus four, 20, 20 years yeah. out of my 28 years have been Same under families. either, yeah, just two families, you know, that have been calling the it's shots, nuts. you know? It's like, it's like a, it's like a, what is that, a tyranny, or uh what do they, what do they consider that? That's a... Uh, I don't know what the word is. I, you know what I'm talking about, though. Oligarchy. I don't Something even know like that's that. right. I, I know that's a word, but... <laughs> no, tyranny, <laughs> would, tyranny would be more of like a dictatorship, like a... a yeah. Tyrant. Yeah, that would be what I... What Which we have a little bit of, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, it's soon. not necessarily the president. I feel like it's just... <clears throat> what do you think you know? about Obama? What do you think of his presidency and what he's done? What do you uh, think? It's... Um, and he's not perfect. Everybody expected him to be perfect, I think, when, when they elected him and he was saying, yes, we can, and hope and all that kind yep, of stuff. Yep. They just expected it to, to be this revolutionary, everything's fine now. Um, of overall performance, I think he's been great. I think he so I. is probably the best president of my life so I. that I can remember. You know, I, I agree. Um, but he's had to go up against a lot, and like not everything he's done is great. I, I still don't really agree with... Uh, his use of drones and like even no, his, agree. when he said like I'm really good at killing people or whatever I think that's a grotesque yeah, we're, statement we're, we're no really matter good who at you wiping are people out and it's especially like a, a president and that's you know? and that's what it, it gets really tricky when you yeah. you talk about how we're about justice and mm -hmm. doing this and stuff and it's like oh well they're burning people alive well we're fucking dropping napalm right. on their head from a from a robot like something out of Terminator yeah. and burning them alive. So it's like, you know, it's just really sticky to say, it's, oh, we come in the name of God. Right. Or we, you know, and that's what it always is. It's like, we, uh, we're, God, God is with the United States of America. It's like, well, who said? Right. Like, what God is, is stands with us? Like, <laughs> you know, because our, the God that you're talking about seems like a real shady kind of God. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's, and, and in no way, shape, or form am I a, a Democrat, because that's what I would you know, especially on the Roundcast page, people are <laughs> fucking liberal. You know, they're like, you, you motherfucking liberal yeah. spoken like a true fucking dumbass. I'm like, I'm not a liberal. I'm not a conservative. Right. I'm nothing. Yeah. I'm nothing. I make my own Convince decisions. Convince me to be one of Yeah, I make my own decisions. I think about things. I, you know, it's... Uh, I think that's a that's kind of a generational thing. Like our generation really doesn't like to be pinned down to any one uh, political party, no. especially, but even like religion and you know we're we're just kind of unaffiliated. Where we want to make our own decisions with the information that we have. Exactly. And nowadays, because we have more access to more information, yeah. At the 
at our fingertips, like, someone tells you bullshit, it's like, yeah. oh, really? Well, let me get on my phone right. and fucking look up. that. You're fucking telling me complete bullshit right now. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to no. listen to you. It's like, I'm going to do the research for myself. Yeah. You have half a brain. It's like, you think about that, the past, uh, you know, generations couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. You know, they couldn't, they didn't have the access. And the generation that's come, going to come after us, the new generation, they're going to, technology is going to be even more. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I think some someday, I mean, probably years down the road, but you're not even going to, you're not going to be able to tell lies. Yeah. You know? You're, because people are going to be able to, like, be inside your head. Right. Like, like oh, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, you're, why are you lying to yeah. us all? We all know. Yeah. It's because, I think, truly, I mean, this is going to sound kind of crazy, <laughs> but I think that's where technology is going. I think it's all going to be, there's going to be no more, you, you're not going to have to hold up a phone to talk yeah, to yeah. somebody. You're going to be able to just talk to them. For sure. And, and, and I mean, that might be beneficial in a lot of ways. Yeah. But it might be kind of scary. But also, yeah, when you start tinkering yeah. with somebody's brain or putting yeah. some chip into their brain where they can... <laughs> Illuminate themselves. It's kind of kind of freaky a little bit. It is. What do you think of uh, the Trump the Trump man? Trump, good old Trump. <laughs> I I think he's just a good source of entertainment through this whole process. If nothing else, you know. Definitely. I don't think he really has much chance of, I don't of getting the nomination. It's like as a Republican, maybe he'll run independent, but that's pretty much just handing the the election to the Democrats too. Yep. So, I, um, I, so yeah. it just kind of depends what Trump's in it for, and I think yeah. Trump's in it for Trump more yeah. than the, yeah, the Republican Party. Better. Because more than even the if American you don't do people. it, he's still going to make money off yeah. it. No, you yeah. know, and that's what they said. You know, one good thing I heard about his campaign is he wouldn't accept any donations or he wouldn't take money from anybody. Yeah, but it's all need to. self funding. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't need to. But and it makes him look better that way. Sure. But he's still at the end of the day, he's gonna make money off of all this stuff he's talking because a bunch of people are gonna endorse him. Right. You know, even though he's said some really crazy stuff, um, I, I think that they definitely will. And and as far as like Chris, you see Chris Christie. Oh my God! Yeah, he is just ridiculous. Hog. He is ridiculous, man. <laughs> he is so ridiculous. He is. He, oh my God. dude. He he said all that how he's gonna. Oh, yeah, when I'm president, weed, if you smoke marijuana, you're, I'm going to lock them all back up. I'm going to keep them in. And then he just the other day went on this podium and talked about the drug war and how it's failing and we got to get weed criminals out of jail. And it's yeah. like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, but he's not going to legalize. But yeah, you're not going to legalize, but you're going to you're gonna fix everything that's going on in the prison system. And it's like, I don't understand what you're saying. You're giving me mixed signals. Yeah. And that's not somebody that I can have running my country. No. It's he like, wants to be president <laughs> yeah. really bad. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. He wants to be president. It's like, you but... worry about people smoking a plant that doesn't do anything, <laughs> but you should watch what you're eating and lose some weight and, you know, and um, maybe exercise a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but... As far as yeah, as far as politics, like you said, it's a it's a clusterfuck right now. It really is. <laughs> it it's, is a clusterfuck. It's ridiculous that we're even talking about it this I, early. I agree. I agree. Here we are. It's, you know, it, it's yeah. a, it's out there. But you, well. you said it's a circus. It's yeah. a circus, and it's funny. And people like Trump, and you know, it, when he starts talking shit on the Republican Party, like it's like, do you even know what an election is? Do you know yeah. what you're doing here? Like you're supposed to talk your party up, man. Right. Um, I wish we had more options. I really so wish I. they would give so the, some of the third parties a little more consideration. I agree. And, like, and, let, that's, and that's let them participate in and, debates. And that's, and that's why it, when people say we have free elections and stuff, we don't. No. We, we don't. We really, you're either going to be a Republican, you're going to be a Democrat, and you're either going to be at the forefront, mm-hmm. or they're going to be left in the dust, and nobody's ever going to hear your name, no one's going to hear your message or anything, yep. what you're thinking. And it's crazy. It, it's We, we talk about... Um, <laughs> um, you're gonna go with your bi- a bike ride with your 15 year old daughter, gay or not gay? <laughs> well, it's your 15 year old daughter, so I'd say not gay. <laughs> That's okay. It's good to spend time with your children, man. <clears throat> raise She's good ra- father. Yeah, good ra- yeah, ra- good, great parenting. Raise your own, man. Raise your own. <laughs> um, you know, another thing is what I wanted to get into since I, well, you talked about politics, so we might as well talk about religion. Right. What do you? What do you? <laughs> think uh like what's your religion oh uh, uh, i don't really have a religion i'm i guess i consider myself a agnostic atheist uh the reason i consider myself that is just because i don't really the agnostic in me i don't really claim to know one way or the other yeah um, but i don't really believe there to be a, a god necessarily at least in, in like the the kind of religious dogmatic sense that there's a guy watching over everybody i agree kind of pulling you know strings and doing whatever but i kind of i believe more in like the eastern philosophies kind of where it's uh 
it's less of a, a deity and more of like an energy that kind of dictates the universe from within you know from from within going out rather than from down from up looking down i guess yeah. if that makes sense yeah. it does it might no it does it does i know i i agree because that's that's kind of how i feel too it's like i can't believe it there's there's not one there can't be one true god right. there has to be you know we're all i mean inside just inside of our gut we have more E. coli than there is in the entire world, yeah. or something like that. Or, it's, or we have more E. coli in our gut um, than there's people on the planet. Okay, and it's like uh, that's what it is, and it's like to know that you have all these microorganisms working throughout your body, and that you're just a you're, you're just a moving, yeah, breathing yeah. cell. It's you like, yourself what? are like a universe, and <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, you're, there's really you're no many, difference. Yeah, and that that's what's amazing. We're just molecules, <sighs> kind of that found a way to organize the, and started calling ourselves I. You yeah, know, and, like, and and you know, I was telling, I was talking to this the other day about <laughs> somebody said this wouldn't be a podcast without my little rowdy. <laughs> I mean, without rowdy speaking. <laughs> And and whining, it wouldn't be a podcast. He's so I'm say glad, his part. Yeah, I'm glad that he he uh, jumped in. <laughs> but I was just saying this the other day. Like I was talking with this guy, and he's a um, Jehovah Witness. And I've I, I think I've, a couple. And of I've them. talked. To, I think I've talked about him before on the podcast. But you know, he tried to tell me that the Earth's only four thousand years old, and I just like, what do you mean? He said carbon dating. He doesn't believe in carbon dating. He doesn't believe in. I said, what about dinosaur? Like, what about fossils? And he said, no. He said. Some of them were maybe were put there to, um, you know, they were just put there to throw people off. And it was like, what are you, are you being serious right now? It's like, it's hard to not. People really believe yeah, that. Yeah. They really do. And he's trying to tell me that there's some people in his religion that take communion and some don't. And the ones that take communion are going to go to heaven. And the ones that don't are going to lay in the, in the grave until the rapture comes or the end of the world Armageddon. And they're going to. And they're going to rise back from the dead. Fucking people on the Adkins diet are all fucking going to hell now. <laughs> yeah, are they really? Yeah, well, you know, you can't have the yeah, bread, yeah, so you, can't, you yeah. cannot take a communion, you're fucked. <laughs> Go straight but to hell, Adkins he, dieters. He fucking, but he's trying to tell me this all and tell me that it's not, that carbon dating is not real and the Earth's only 4,000 years old and I'm thinking, like, you really believe this? You, you really believe that the Earth's only 4,000 years old when we know the Earth's been extinct like two or three times <laughs> in, in, the, in the life of the Earth? It's yeah. like... And like you said, I just think we're all, we all come from the same thing. We're yeah. all made from the same thing. And it doesn't matter what color you are, what race you are, what you believe, whatever God you want. It's okay. Yeah. You can believe whatever you want. I don't care. You know, but don't, you know, it's like, don't tell me that I'm going to go to hell or I'm going to burn or I'm, because right. I don't believe what you believe. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, I, just, I don't know. I don't even, when people say you're going to hell or whatever, it's just not even like a threat to me because I don't even believe in hell necessarily. I don't believe in sin, uh, hell heaven you know anything like that i, I think they're probably I, I can't say whether there is an afterlife or not but uh i feel like our energy continues on in, in, in some fashion that's cool um in some way you know like i don't i don't think there's a um <clears throat> suite for us in no. a deluxe apartment no. in the sky no, it would. doesn't work like that but, but i i feel like there's more you know it there's an just... energy transfer that goes on it yeah the, yeah I just like I don't know if our human minds can even comprehend it. Probably even if we not. Knew. Probably have no idea. Yeah. You so, know? I, well, if you claim to know, I think you're an asshole. That's um, all there is to it. You don't know yeah, anything. You've been given you're exactly asshole. the same information that I have, and I don't know. Um, you maybe have studied a couple other things that maybe I haven't considered yet and stuff, but you, I don't know. That doesn't mean you know anything. No, you know not nothing. at all. Nobody knows anything, really. No, and, and you know... I kind of got sidetracked on what I was talking about. I, I always do. That. It's part of it's part of the, being the podcast. Um, <clears throat> hold on, Lisa. I'll get back to who I would endorse. Um, <clears throat> but it's the thing is what I said to him is, and he fucking looked at me like I was crazy, and I was like, "You're looking at me like I'm crazy." I said, "I said I would believe you don't believe." I said, "You don't believe that, that the Earth the Earth's only four thousand years old." I said, "You don't believe in dinosaurs. You don't believe in this and that." Right. And I said. I, I'd more believe that a an alien pod crash landed on Earth and the aliens came out yeah. and were like, holy shit. There was like monkeys running around and shit was running around. And they were like, holy shit. You know, we got to survive. And they they colonized and they survived and they started, they were human beings. Right. And they started us. And he was like, he looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, if you're telling me, <laughs> like, if you're telling me what the fucking, if you're, if you're telling me what the fucking, you know, 
religion and what hell is and heaven is and that if I'm not do this, I'm going to burn and right. do this and think. And you're telling me that's how it goes and this shit that Scientologists believe and shit, that's, that's true. Right. If that's true, then just aliens crash land and then start in humanity and butt fucking a monkey and, and putting <laughs> DNA inside a monkey and making humans or dropping a little seed here is more, is just as believable as that. That's, you yeah. know, because it's just, as, it's like paranormal. It's right. like you don't believe in ghosts or you don't believe in aliens. Well, you believe in God and you believe in all this crazy stuff and mystical, crazy, you know, but like I said, I'm not going to take anyone, I'm not going to take anything away from, uh, from people and what they believe and it's just... If you, you're going to look at me and tell me that I'm wrong for what I believe, then it's like, uh, I don't get that. Like, I'm not going to tell you. You can believe whatever you want to believe. Yeah. Uh, everybody has their opinion. That's what makes this America. That's what makes it a great country. Um, yeah, who would I endorse? I mean, that's a really fucking hard one. I think I would endorse Donald Trump. Trump. I think Trump would. I'd put my Trump, money. Cause, Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump. Because like my friend Matt says, you know, he's an expert at making money. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I would never. I couldn't. I couldn't stand behind a Republican. I mean, right now, the way that things have been for the last, like you said, the last twelve years, um, I can't. I can't. You know, and the way that they're all against Obama, like I don't think Obama's the greatest president, but I think he's he's done a lot. And you know, a lot of people say is he, there's a lot of false promises. Give me one president that came into office that didn't have uh, false promises, that didn't have things that you know didn't Every didn't do one. everything that he said he was going to accomplish. Yeah. I mean, you can't you cannot say that about anybody. <laughs> um, but you know, I would definitely you know I would I would definitely fall in, in the Democratic Party. I, I can't stand behind Hillary because she's. If you look back at what the Clintons have done, I mean, I I, I recommend anybody to watch this documentary called The Clinton Chronicles and talk about what. <clears throat> the Clintons have done and, and how shady their family is. And, um, you know, as great as everybody says Clinton was as a president is maybe our, our economy was better. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to vote. Don't you worry, but Hey, it's too early right now. We got, we got shit. We got a lot of shit that's about to happen. We got, we got time. I mean, you know, it's gonna, there's a lot that's going to happen. That's, that's one thing our, my generation and your generation aren't really all that good at is turning up to vote no i, I wish they yep. would because because uh, you know a lot of people have a lot of opinions and stuff and then, and then they don't go to vote for whatever reason and, you think reagan was a downfall of society <laughs> i don't know man reagan did a lot of good stuff too though you know but he did he did a lot of shady shit too it's it's hard to, to say you know I, I don't know he had good hair yeah he, he did had some nice hair that reagan Listen to the song of Ronald Wilson Reagan, man. Have you ever heard it? We gotta play it. We gotta fucking play it. Yeah, she Let's did. She did start. She did start the the war. We gotta play it. It's a great song. I think we need another beer. I could agree. You want yep. me to go grab? Yeah, some? sure. Since sure, I'll take the... another beer. Right. We'll get this. We'll get this song playing. Um, you know, Lisa, I, I do, I do, um, have a voice. You're right. And some people listen. I don't know why people listen to me as much as they do because you know, what, what, uh, what do I know so much more than, than any of you guys? I mean, Lisa, you're, you're way more intelligent than me. Um, but like I said, I got to stand with, uh, the democratic the Democratic Party, because I just think that right now the progression that we're making, I think, you know, legalizing marijuana, um, getting that legalized, at least for medical, even if everybody can't smoke, I, I believe that everybody should be able to smoke if they want to, but at least that everybody can have medical marijuana if they need it. Um, <clears throat> I, I think that, I think medical is, is super important because uh, troops with PTSD, we have children with seizures, we have, we see time and time again that how, uh, how effective medical marijuana can be. And I think the only because of Obama and the democratic party have, have we even began to look at it any differently than, than what we've seen. Um, you know, so I, like I said, I got to stand behind the Democrat, but to say which one I would stand behind right now, I, uh, it's hard. It's hard. It, it's a, uh, it's a toss up, but all right, <clears throat> I'm going to play this. I'm going to play a song that you love Reagan so much. So we'll, uh, we'll check this out. Hopefully you can hear it. Yep. 
a cool, real cool. Ass. Little, little big, Killer Mike, I think his name. Big Mike. I don't know. They're all the same. Oh, it's Killer Mike. This is kind of a conspiracy ish. Oh, yeah. The, 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 Have you ever seen this all before? seeing eye and everything. No, I don't think so. Not to capitulate to terrorist demands. The no concessions policy remains in force. Despite the wildly speculated and false stories of arms for hostages and alleged ransom payments, we did not repeat, we did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages. It's a real shit, dude. Cause all we seem to give them is some ball and ass and dance. That's the talking about I call and imaginary mansions. We should be indicted for bullshit. We incite them. And the children deaf and pretend that it's exciting. We are advertisements for agony and pain. We exploit the youth. We tell them to join the game. We tell them dope stories introduced to the game. Reagan was smuggling cocaine, and this is, I mean, this has been documented, man. That shit really happened. Man. They were really, the U.S. was smuggling the cocaine. I told the American people, I did not trade arms for hostages. Was Reagan personally doing it? Like, no, probably not. Probably no, I don't think. But Bill Clinton was. <laughs> yeah. Bill Clinton, oh yeah, Bill Clinton in Arkansas when he was a senator. He was, he was smuggling coke, dude. Oh yeah, dude, you need to look it up. But see, I don't know if I truly believe that. That they 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 added they put crack out there for black kids to you know I don't know how yeah to, to, to believe that we actually you know that's hard to believe they put we actually introduced crack and cocaine to the streets so that we could put black kids in the you know maybe I mean it is it's not it's not that it couldn't be true yeah it could be there's always a possibility I suppose yeah. And this goes back to what we were talking to, too. And I see, that's the weird one, too. Yeah. Like, they all, we're always going after the same same leaders and you know, they're always true. terrorists and maybe they are just all terrorists but and a lot of times it's leaders that we put there in the first yeah. place you yep. know like yep. it's kind of we gave them the, we gave them the guns we, we trained them yep. we put them there and then we go oh they're the enemies <laughs> now we gotta go kill them <laughs> dead. he said he's glad Reagan's dead also a bold statement. That is a bold statement to say a president is dead. And you're glad <clears throat> about it. Dan Pfeiffer. Whoa. People are calling your name. Brittany Carrasco. What the hell? Brittany Carrasco. I remember you in, uh, I remember what class that was. I don't know. You're in some math class. I used, to cheat. I used to cheat off you all the time. She was in all of the classes. Probably. I used to cheat off you all the time and you give me your answers. It was yeah. awesome. She crashed on my couch for a while, actually. Really? Yeah, awesome. there, were, there was a time. Awesome. Good Hell times. Yeah. Hell yeah, you help help one another out. That's what it's all about. What do you mean they've all done it, Lisa? They've all done what? They've all smuggled drugs and lied and, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I agree with that, if that's what you're saying. Um, you know, if anybody wants to, hold on. Yeah, I just got somebody, somebody just uh, gave me a little ring dong. So, uh, <laughs> it's probably like wanna, one of those cam girls if you or wanna, something. Like, you want to call in? It could be a cam girl. Are we getting a cam girl? Yeah, I agree, Lisa. I agree. They've all they've all done. They've all made face false promises. All right, we got somebody calling in on Skype. All right. Yo yo yo. Yo, can you see me? Are you jamming over there? <laughs> Are you jamming? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I got no audio. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why, you're high? I can't hear you because you're high? 
I can hear you now. I can hear you. I can see you too, yeah. I see you. What's up, man? He dancing. He's dancing. I wish I had video for this too. He's dancing. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing good. Welcome welcome back to the Roudcast, man. This is how it works, huh? Yeah, this is how this is this is called Skype. This is what Skype is. I guess I gotta take the headphones out. Yeah. You can't hear me? No, I had the headphones in. Oh, gotcha. Listen to the radio show like I was on the phone. Remember, you know how you, when you call into a radio show, you yeah, you got you can't have the background <laughs> echo the when you're calling. They tell you to turn the radio on. I was just that guy. I was trying to listen to myself on the radio. I don't know why that is. Yeah, dude, I, I could definitely see you, and my my, my vo- volume was down. I just turned it up a little bit. So say something. What's going on, man? Yeah, buddy. Well, fucking, I got Dan Pfeiffer, man. You want to ask Dan a question? What, what, what are you about about cops? What, uh, what were you saying about the police? Oh, uh, what was I saying about it? Mm-hmm. Cause you just spent some time with with some of those nice officers, didn't you? I talked to one of them last night. Uh, <laughs> he said uh, he asked me how my comedy show went. And I told him. I said it went good. He wanted to know. He said, I remembered, I remembered. Fucking cops, man. I always wanted to talk. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. How did the, how did the, um, the last one go? Did you kill it or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I just remember today I was talking to uh, my cousin Joe that I told the, uh, I did the Jose bit on stage and I realized next time I go up, I'm going to do just, uh, my whole bit's going to be Jose, the guy I used to work with. Um, he's uh, Nicaraguan, okay? He hates Mexicans. He's Nicaraguan. I didn't say that word. I was going to say Nicaraguan. Nicaraguan. I don't, that's racist, dude. I don't know what, the, what you're talking about. What country is that? <laughs> um, yeah, and so, yeah, that guy. I'm going to talk about Jose. And he, he did this to me one time. Watch this. Can you see me? I can see you, yeah. Nobody else can. Remember, this is audio. All right. Well, Rowdy, one time he did this to me. I was walking back to my machine, and uh, he goes like this. <laughs> was that your what, pro- Was he doing that to your dick? I don't what do you do? What do you do? What do you do when another grown man does that? I don't you know. know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Man. It's he, scary. He, he, he took his he took his middle finger and his ring finger, <laughs> and he licked them, and then he made uh, a sign at your genitals. And he, yeah, he made a sign <laughs> like he was gonna like he was gonna touch you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's, that's uh, he made the motion like he wanted to touch my ass. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's almost like he's gonna finger your butt or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> He's doing another grown man. He's older than me. He's like 46 years old. He wanted to fuck me in my butthole. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. He's a fucking pervert. Well, well I got to have you back on real soon here, man. I got to get you back on here. I appreciate right, I appreciate you calling in, dude, on the Skype. You're the first Skype ever. You're the first fucking Skype ever. We better get plenty more. You hear that, you fuckheads? You better call. My mom's laptop. My mom's laptop. I fucking stole it. I was gonna say that wallpaper in the background looks from about 1962. <laughs> fucking, I don't know what the fuck. Hey, 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 hey! My daughter just showed up. Do you want you want to meet my daughter? Sure. She's gonna be throw her on. You going bike riding? I, oh, hey, listen, people, listen, people. You, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> you tell? Are you talking to your daughter? My beautiful. Are oh, you talking to the people? Your daughter. If any of you touch her, I will fucking. You know what I'll do. You know what I'll do with people. She's what? How old are you? She's going to be 16. She's going to be a sophomore. She's the smartest kid in the fucking... Whatever they throw at her, she... You know, it's the game she plays. She's got to play the game, She's and she's the best at playing the game. She's seriously going to be valedictorian. This is the kid What's I What's her name? What's her name? Kayla Strauss. Here she gotcha. is. Oh. Hello. What up, Kayla? How much? Talk into it. What's going uh, on? Talk a lot. 
you're, huh? you're the great you're the great daughter of of the Matt Strauss, the infamous, the one and only. Yes, I'm a legend. You're a legend. I'm, I'm a, legend a legend too. Nice to meet you. We're two legends, just having a conversation on the internet. You're live right now. You're being broadcasted to a bunch of people. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you're happy about that. I'm happy about that, too. But, hey, we got to let you go. But, hey, good to meet you. All right, you your, too. Your dad's you. awesome. All right, let him know I said that. All right, we'll see you, Rowdy. Later. Yeah, well, uh, that's how Skype works, so if you ever want to call and, and you really get pissed at the things I'm saying, because I know a lot of you do, I, I hear a lot of it, you can. You can just Skype in at the Roundcast and say, hey, hey, listen here, you fucking idiot. I feel and, honored that <coughs> I was part of the very first you were. Skype you call were. To, into you the, were. the Roundcast. This is a historic moment. You were, that night. was. It was a historic moment, and, man. And I'm glad to have been here for did it. I, did I already talk about the 4,000 mark? Did, did, I, did I talk about that? I, 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 we talked about it before. I don't know if we actually I mentioned know, but it. But yeah, you know, we've been doing we just hit, thing. we hit, um, the Roundcast hit over 4,000 plays. And I, I mean, you may think that, you know, that's not that much. Um, you know, because I've been doing it maybe, you know, I've done it, been doing it a year and a half, but I haven't been doing it. A year and a half straight. I definitely take some breaks. You know, there's some times where I fell off where I thought I was done doing it. That you know, I just I started using different apps that it just wasn't producing it the way that I wanted to do it, and I thought that you know I I wasn't going to continue. And I, you know, there's definitely two times I took a, a month or two or even three months break. So I can't say that I for a year and a half straight I was I was doing this, but um, you know, in that year and a half. Um, on and off, I have over 4,000 plays, um, you know, average that, that's almost 100 plays an episode, so, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's not bad, it's not bad, and I just need more people like Dan to come here and drink beers with me, and uh, bullshit. Hey, I only live like seven miles away, well, you're so gonna, you're gonna be call a, me up anytime. Yeah, you're going to be a, a guest, uh, like a special <laughs> guest star all the time, right. and uh, you know, with the 50, like the 50th, like I said, the 50th episode to me is such a... A big milestone. I really want to do something special for it. I want to... Um, Greatest hits. Yeah, you like, know. Like the time that you had a Skype call. Yeah, like that the Skype. Cool. Yeah, this, at my first Skype. <laughs> and uh, Those were good times. Mm-hmm. So getting back to the... Getting back to the meat and potatoes of this motherfucker. Um... <clears throat> What about what about Cosby? Did you see the, what he just? Did you see what he just said lately? No, what he, he said because he admitted, you know, he said, like that. Like that. <laughs> I want to put it in the motherfucking box. That he might have said, been David Lee Roth. He said, yeah, actually, I don't know. that was a little <laughs> mixture of David Lee Roth and Cosby. I'm terrible. That's not a good Cosby impression. Give it, give it. He said, uh, he because he, he admitted he got busted at, in in um. I don't know what year it was that that he admitted to uh, he had he, to, because what he did is he got out of by paying a a big lump sum to one of these women. Yeah. Um, but he admitted that he did give them a drug to you know knock them out or whatever. But now he's saying that the drug drug taking sex was consent was consensual. Really? <laughs> and that, yeah, he's he's claiming that uh, that all these he did uh, he did give she had a roofie fetish. He did. Yeah, he did. Uh, she did. She liked being roofie. Oh, she liked okay. being. Well, I mean. <laughs> Maybe that explains everything. Uh, it might. It might explain a lot, man. I, I don't know. It's, it's the, the uh, old roofie fetish. Mm. You know, it's uh, the thing with Cosby, though. Like I said, it just that blows my mind. To some people, it doesn't. They're like, he's kind of a weird dude. He's kind of an arrogant dude. He was like strange. To me, it's like he was the all American dad. The, like, yeah. The, Hero, ghost he, dad. Yeah, he's ghost, ghost, ghost dad. Yeah, no, I never see. I know what you're talking about, though. Man, I remember the preview. <laughs> I remember the preview in my head. You pretty much saw it. Then, yeah, you get it. Uh, yeah, ghost dad, and uh, <laughs> I don't know how to transition from that. But um, oh wait, that's right. O H I O. That's straight from Atlanta too. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia, bringing the O H. You represent. What do you mean a cough button? What's a cough button? And like someone... to kill the mic when you cough, probably. Oh, gotcha. Maybe that's getting annoying to people. Gotcha. Yeah, I always make a. <clears throat> I always. <clears throat> I always do that. That's because I smoke a lot of. I don't even smoke cigarettes anymore, but I just have so much junk in my throat. So I, I apologize that I always am clear in my throat. I, that's, that's a good idea. Um, someone to watch chatter while you're live. What do you mean by What do you mean by that? Watch someone the chatter. Someone to watch. 
Oh, to someone to talk in the chat so I can not pay attention to the chat. Gotcha. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm working on this, Lisa. This is a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're building. These are the building blocks. They're like Legos. They're coming together. They're puzzle pieces <laughs> in my one. head. You know, I've had, uh, I've had, um, <sighs> I, yeah, crawling under house. That's what I do all day. It's fucking talk about scary ass spiders and mold. That's what you see. have seen the fucking mold that I was breathing in today. It was a cesspool. My friends are buying the house. I want to tell them to burn it down, but I can't tell them that. You know, I uh, I don't I can't say you know fucking bulldoze the house and start again. But oh my god, some of the houses I see are fucking crazy. Um, Dan, talk talk, man. That, that's all I got on my list, man. Right, so you, you had me at Cosby. I, I, I had you at Cosby. <laughs> got it. Cosby huh? yeah. got right. it. But uh, so what like. You're you're up in Toledo, so you um yeah, you, you well, where do you like what, what's what's cool? What, where do you frequent? What do you ch- what do you check out? What, oh, what do I need to what do I need to know about uh, in Toledo? Until recently, <laughs> I would say San Marcos. Um, Where's San Marcos? Not, not to crap on San Marcos because they still have some some quality products. Is that a Mexican place? It or is. Am I being racist? It's, okay, no, no, okay. It, it genuinely okay. is a Mexican restaurant. Okay. but they're like uh, it's downtown. There's a couple of them around town, but uh, the the one that I used to or still kind of frequent is downtown, um, and it's like half. Mexican grocery store, half restaurant. So like you actually have Dude, to cross through the restaurant. I used to go to a place in Atlanta like that. It's this, sweet. this girl like, Jen, super legit. This girl Jen just, showed it to me, and it was the best fucking yeah, food around. It's Dude. amazing. But that's how it was. It was like you would never know. You had to like walk behind the shelf. And yeah. There was like a restaurant back there, and it was awesome for sure. They had some really great uh, waiters that they just recently let go though. So I don't know if it's going to oh, be really as good. Gotcha. Um, I'm just, I don't know if they're listening or not because it I, could I, be. I, if they are, we miss you. <clears throat> they miss you <laughs> well, well, you can and we you'll be able to, to share to this you'll be able to share this to your san marcos compadres yeah exactly like, so just know that sometime when when our paths crossed again i'll be like i, I showed you some love on the roadcast that's right you, san marcos fucking represent man yeah but they still have style. some good margaritas and some good food and stuff yeah so. we'd be i mean dude my girlfriend loves mexican so we'd be down to check check that out yeah you know <clears throat> there's this place down the street called uh party on the pallet or party on the on the yeah, it sounds really weird. Around here? It's just, yeah, it's just on the street. It's on uh, Holland, Pennsylvania. If you keep going uh, okay. towards Toledo, and they got supposedly it's this it's this guy that I know. Um, that's his restaurant. He opened up. Yeah. And supposedly every time I go by there on Friday, Saturday night, it's packed. Nice. And I hear they have really. It's like an Asian fusion restaurant. Okay. Um. So it's something I want to check out. It sounds it sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, it does sound good. Mm-hmm. I've been, uh, yeah, wanting to branch out a little bit more, so I might have to give that place a try. Yeah. Uh, Doc Watson's <coughs> over by me is pretty I've, good. I have seen that, too. I've heard of Doc, That's a good Doc Watson's. They got some good sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> a pretty good selection of beer, which I yeah. appreciate. I'm, I'm definitely we'll, a beer we'll fan. To, we'll have to check out that Doc Watson some night, because I've heard some really good things about there. Yeah. I, I'd like to, i definitely like to do it. It's good. Um, <clears throat> good stuff. Well, like I said, man... <clears throat> I appreciate you coming on here with me, and and uh, and I definitely want to have you back. You know, you're Absolutely one of the best <clears throat> one of the best conversations that I've I've had um, <laughs> on the podcast. Good man, yeah. um, and that's what I strive to do. You know, I do this for fun. This is a hobby, and uh, it's a hobby that I enjoy more than anything. Um, I can't. I have like a passion. I've always had a passion for radio. You know, me and me and Zach Ferris back in the day, we uh, we had a radio station. We were Fatty J and Skinny Z. Nice. <laughs> and uh, we had this hit radio station. We'd play it all the time during school. And people would listen to it. Was this like high school? Or yeah, in high okay. school. We'd run a server. It was a <clears throat> a client that we were running. Okay. And um, we ran it all the time. And so while we were at school, we could plug in and we could everybody would listen to it. We'd give them all the IP address and everybody would listen to it. And we'd have our own commercials and That's stuff awesome. playing. So it's like, you know, I know since I was really young that I loved radio and I wanted to do radio. So this is as close as I can get to radio. And it's doing, this is better than the radio. And it's doing, that's how I feel. Because who the fuck are is, we? Exactly. 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 Bullshit. 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 <laughs> bullshit. Exactly. And we have, um, you know, exactly. People listen to it. And this is, I believe that podcasting is the future. Yeah. Um, pretty soon radio is going out the window. Like you said, we're not going to have TV anymore. Mm-hmm. Everything's going to be streaming. Everything's going to be digital. Everything's going to be live. Um, you get it as it comes. It streams to you. And so this is, this is as, as, um, as cool as it gets. And I, I can't, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to, I'm sorry. I, I got smoke in my, I'm smoking this little <laughs> vaporizer thing, but, um, 
I'll do better, Lisa. I'll try. I'll try better. Um, I, I I definitely want to have you back, Dan. And and it's been a. I'm sure we've probably been here for an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's been a, it's been a good show, and and I have plenty more to talk about with you. Is there anything that you want to plug or anything that you want to? Final comments or anything you want to say before we, we get off the air? Uh, you know, I am a pretty important person and with lots you, of projects I and think stuff. So. But they're they're pretty you sell secret. Bongs. So, you sell yeah, bongs. Yeah. It's pretty important. They're pretty uh, pretty secretive <laughs> and stuff. So I don't I really want you. to get into all that. Gotcha. I, I appreciate everybody for listening. I know I'm not. Uh, Where can people Amos find celebrity? You? Where can people find you at um, if they want to come buy a bong? At the uh, the headshed um, in Toledo. There's uh, three locations in Toledo. You work all three of them. Or? I I work in like a um, warehouse, kind of central to the whole operation. I, I run the website, which is uh, cybershed.com. <clears throat> we don't have a whole lot up on the website at this point, um, but we're kind of. Working on getting a just like the broadcast, it's a work in progress. Exactly, it it's is. It's a work in progress. It is. You're gonna get there. You got you got the vision. We're yeah, we have a very clear yeah. vision at this point, and we're just kind of executing, and, and hopefully in the next, I don't know, year or so, it should be a pretty awesome website, and the uh, the stores are awesome too. If you need any kind of quality glass products uh, to of which to smoke out of, and or sex toys too. So we, do, se- we, do, yeah, we do some sex good, toys good, too. Good so. line of sex toys too. If you're looking for a yeah, yeah, big yeah. old dildo. <laughs> For your girlfriend, they have that. They can cover that too. So. We got you covered. Yeah, so it's, it's a very a multi multi facet <laughs> um, work that he's doing here. So it's it's the Lord's work. Yeah, it is the Lord's work. So, so if you I believe, do what I can. It's it's Jesus. He's carrying on Jesus's name as in the form of a glass bong or a dildo. <laughs> um, so if you really if you're looking for that in the Toledo area, go see Dan at the Head Shed. Give him some business. Um, smoke it up. And um, thank you so much for listening to this. It's been another Sunday night, another broadcast. This is 48. That's 48, at least 48 hours of fucking great material. So go back and listen, do your homework. And I will be back next Sunday with a brand new guest. And we will be getting close to that 50th episode. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to bring a bunch of guests on and just go crazy or if I'm going to line them all up on Skype. Um, (laughs) And go ahead and poop Jesus. Because that's what's amazing. We we need more Jesus poops. So thank you guys for listening too. I love everybody that represents me. Please share this. Uh, get other people to listen to it. And uh, me and Dan appreciate it. Dan's been a great guest. And thanks for playing along, Dan. Thank you so much for Anytime. being with me. Um, and I will definitely bring Dan back soon to talk about more fucking craziness. So like I said, thank you very much for enjoying the Roundcast. We love you. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.